Okay, back out here at the uh, rotary grain cleaner. It's the DMC 54. All new belts, 10 belts. Still got to attach this one to the to drive motor. These two down here, that one over there. New pulley there, idler pulley. Put two new springs on this here, and this is my contraption for getting these suckers on. Um, this piece of rebar has got a couple little wires strung on it. I put those on the end of the hook, lock the bottom down there, and then push the top back to act as a big lever, and then clamp the top. Then ended up taking pliers to get this top little hook here through this eyelet hole. Now, I think I've got the right amount of tension on this belt. I don't know what it's supposed to be. The previous springs were slightly longer than the new springs, and I'm counting, and, but they were in these top holes. They were worn out. I mean, they're 30 years old. I don't know what, how much life was left in them. So that's that. Um, I've still got to get the wiring done on this, and then the panels go back on. And I'm having a really hard time finding 5x5 five five mesh, 5 mesh, uh, 200,000 spacing. This is quarter inch, 250,000 of an inch, quarter inch spacing, and my beans fall through. The next thing I'm working on, as soon as I uh, button up that, is the floor of this thing. We're going to take this into the shop. It's got some leaks, but I'm going to do the bit I can. That hole right there is where the accelerator pedal goes. I ended up chipping all this away and then uh, priming it, core sealing and priming the floor. This is the new panel I made up for uh, accelerator panel basically. Accelerator pedal basically goes in that orientation. So I'm going to see if I can get you a uh, action shot of me putting this thing in here. Well, the profile of the thing, it's just three pieces made up. There's this eighth inch piece, and I got this piece at an angle and that, and then the carpet folds over all of it. There's these two bolt holes here, get bolted down to those two holes there. You get the idea. And then all these wires go in this tray here, and it's capped with a piece that goes over the top of that uh, flooring. I'm going to take it in after I put this floor in today Saturday afternoon. I'm going to take it in and um, got some leaks on the underside. I only need it to go 10 miles when we're combining corn back to the bin. Um, but I don't want it to break down then. I got the new auger in on the grain cleaner. I'm going back and forth here. There's a uh, VFD for the grain bin. They're having a hard time finding a weatherproof cabinet for it. Um, I got the polyflight auger, auger in here. A poly cup from Lundell Plastic. I don't know if it's going to show up. Maybe not on that end. But I'm waiting on... I had to order this uh, wood bearing that goes on the other end of this idler, uh, on the other end of this shaft. So there's a Lundell poly cup. So I put that end in, and all these pieces go on the top end to mount the motor up there for the auger. Um, it snowed yesterday. The beans are close. I'm going to let them dry out a little bit more. I've got a week of nice weather coming up. Combine sitting out in the shed out there. Everything's looking good out there. So, uh, just trying to put things away.